Welcome to Pompeii, the ancient Roman city that was frozen in time by a catastrophic volcanic eruption in 79 AD. In this video, we will explore the new discoveries at Pompeii's Regio 9, a previously unexplored area that reveals the secrets of life and death in this fascinating archaeological site. Pompeii was founded around 600 BC by the Oscans, an ancient Italian people who settled in the fertile plain of Campania near the Bay of Naples. The city was influenced by the Greeks and the Etruscans who established colonies and trade networks in the region. Pompeii became a prosperous and cosmopolitan city with a population of about 20,000 people at its peak. It had a complex urban layout with temples, theatres, baths, shops, villas and public buildings. It also had a vibrant cultural and artistic life, as evidenced by the many frescoes, mosaics, sculptures and graffiti that adorned the walls and floors of the city. Pompeii's fate changed dramatically on August 24, 79 AD when Mount Vesuvius, a volcano that loomed over the city, erupted violently and unexpectedly. The eruption lasted for two days and unleashed a series of devastating events that buried Pompeii and its neighboring towns under a thick layer of ash, pumice and mud. The eruption produced a massive cloud of hot gas and debris that rose up to 33 kilometers in the sky and then collapsed and swept down the slopes of the volcano at speeds of up to 700 kilometers per hour. These pyroclastic flows, as they are called, were the main cause of death for most of the inhabitants of Pompeii who either suffocated, burned or were crushed by the falling rocks and buildings. Some people tried to escape but many others stayed behind, hoping to survive the disaster. They took shelter in their homes, in cellars or in public places but none of them made it. The eruption also caused earthquakes, tsunamis and landslides that added to the destruction and chaos. The city was completely buried under four to six meters of volcanic material and remained hidden and forgotten for centuries. The first systematic excavations of Pompeii began in the 18th century and since then, archaeologists have uncovered about two-thirds of the city, revealing a unique snapshot of the daily life of an ancient civilization. The excavations have also recovered the bodies of some of the victims preserved in the positions they died in by the hardening of the volcanic ash that covered them. These casts, as they are known, are a poignant reminder of the human tragedy that befell Pompeii. One of the most recent and exciting discoveries at Pompeii is the excavation of Regio 9, a central area of the city that had not been fully explored before. The excavation which started in 2017 is focused on Insula 10. The insula contains two large houses, a bakery, a laundry and several workshops. The site was first investigated in 1888 but the work was interrupted and only partially documented. The new excavation aims to complete the exploration of the insula and to study its history, architecture, decoration and function. Regio 9 also gained fame for the discovery of a fresco that was found in the same area, depicting what might be a 2,000-year-old form of pizza. The fresco shows a round flatbread on a silver tray, topped with various fruits such as pomegranate, dates and possibly pineapple. However, Experts say that the fruit that looks like a pineapple is most likely a pine cone as pineapples were unknown in Europe until the 15th century. The flatbread is also seasoned with spices or moritum, a herb cheese spread eaten by the ancient Romans. The fresco was painted in the hall of a house that had a bakery in its annex and may have been inspired by the Greek hospitality ritual of Xenia which involved offering gifts to guests. After the discovery of the famed fresco, excavations have continued at the site and more discoveries have been made. One of the most remarkable findings of the excavation is the discovery of three victims of the eruption who were found in a room of the Fulonica, or laundry where cloths were washed and dyed. The victims were a child of about three or four years old and two adults, one of whom was wearing a woolen cloak. The child was lying on a wooden bed, while the adults were on the floor near a staircase that led to the upper floor. The bodies were preserved by the ash that hardened around them and were analyzed by an anthropological team who used techniques such as CT scans, X-rays and DNA tests to determine their age, sex, health and possible kinship. The results showed that the child was a male and that the two adults were also males aged between 18 and 25 and between 30 and 40. The younger adult had several vertebral compressions, suggesting a life of hard labor while the older adult had a robust physique and traces of a beard. The DNA tests revealed that the two adults were not related but the child's DNA could not be extracted. The presence of the child and the cloak in the laundry suggests that they belonged to a wealthy family who owned the business or who were customers of it. Another fascinating finding of the excavation is the recovery of two frescoes in the atrium of a house that had an adjoining oven. 
The frescoes depict scenes from Roman and Greek mythology and are of high artistic quality. The first fresco shows Poseidon, the god of the sea, and Amimon, a nymph who was one of the daughters of Danaeus, the king of Argos. There are also traces of charred furniture such as a wooden chest and a table that were burned by a fire that broke out in the house during the eruption. The fire was probably caused by the oven which was used for baking bread and which was still in operation when the disaster struck. These are just some of the amazing discoveries that have been made at Pompeii's Regio 9 and that have shed new light on this ancient city and its people. The excavation is still ongoing and promises to reveal more secrets and surprises in the future. Keep in mind that Regio 9 is just one of the nine districts that Pompeii was divided into. Pompeii was a big city with many streets and buildings. The city was divided into nine parts called Regio, from one to nine. Each Regio had different kinds of buildings and people. Let's take a look at each of them. Regio 1 was the oldest and smallest part located in the northwest corner of the city near the city wall and the Vesuvian Gate. Regio I had mostly houses that were very rich and elegant with beautiful mosaics, frescoes, and sculptures. Regio II was a big part in the northeast part of the city near the Nusarian Gate and the Herculaneum Gate. Regio II had many public buildings that were used for entertainment, education, and sports. They could host thousands of spectators, who enjoyed plays, music and games. Regio III was a small part located in the east part of the city near the Sarno Gate and the Nola Gate. Regio III had mostly houses were more modest and simple but still had some interesting features such as medical instruments, puzzles and moral sayings. They also had shops, workshops and taverns where people could buy, sell and socialize. Regio IV was a big part in the southeast part of the city near the Stabian Gate and the Nasera Gate. Regio IV had many public buildings such as the Forum, the Basilica, the Temple of Jupiter, the Masselum and the Baths of Stabii. Regio V was a medium-sized part in the south part of the city near the Porta Marina and the Sarno Gate. Regio V had mostly houses such as the House of the Orchard, the House of the Gladiators and the House of the Cryptoporticus. Regio VI had some public buildings such as the Temple of Fortuna Augusta and the Baths of the Forum. These buildings were dedicated to the Goddess of Fortune and the Emperor and to the health and well-being of the people. Regio 7 was a medium-sized part in the west part of the city near the Vesuvian Gate and the Nusarian Gate. Regio 7 had mostly modest houses. They also had gardens, wells and cisterns where people could grow plants and collect water. Regio 8 had mostly shops, workshops and taverns where people could buy, sell and socialize. Regio 8 also had some shops such as the Inn of Salvius and the Bakery of Popidius Priscus. Finally, Regio 9 had buildings that were very rich and elegant with beautiful mosaics, frescoes and sculptures. Pompeii is a treasure trove of history, art and science and a testament to the power and beauty of nature. Thank you for watching this video on Pompeii. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new about Pompeii and its amazing discoveries. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our latest uploads. See you next time.